Hey guys, so today is the 17th of September. So today I just went back a few hours ago. I returned from the Amat. I went to Pavia to film the exam day to show you guys in a different video that you can check on this channel probably in the next couple of days. Or if you are kind of months into the future, you can already see it on the channel how the exam day of the Amat exam is actually like. But the A form of the Amat, which you can find in the link in the description, which is just the PDF of the past paper, was released a few minutes ago. So I hopped on my gear and everything, the recording equipment, to really make this video. Wait, I will focus a bit. To really, I will go a bit like this. Okay, perfect. To really make this video as soon as possible, to show you guys my thought, if I think the exam was easier, harder than previous year, and give you an estimation to what I think will happen to the scores of this year, both for EU and uh, non-Europeans. So I won't mention exact points, of course, but I will mention if the exam, because it will be the first time I'm going to see this PDF. If it's going to be easier than last year, the exam will most likely, the scores will increase. It could be four, five, six points. If it was like last year, I would expect like two, three points increase. If it was significantly harder, I would expect, let's say, about the same like last year. I asked in Pavia how many candidates are actually taking the exam and they said 150 less than last year. So if the exam was significantly easier, they will increase slightly. But if the exam was harder or about the same, I expect about the same score more or less. So it's a bit hard to predict, but I, would, I wouldn't expect the scores to decrease. Maybe for Europeans, they might increase more than the non-Europeans because non-Europeans in some unis, it was like 65. But you never really know. We, we might see this year like 70 for Milan, IMS or Bologna and these kind of universities. You really never know. If the exam is really easy, it's actually something that is possible. So without continuing, I will clean my mic a bit. I will remove this leftovers from my dog messing around in, the ho in my house. And we will just review the PDF. Okay, so okay, academic year this year. Just making sure the PDF is correct because I really see it for the first time myself. A reading skills and knowledge acquired during studies, so general knowledge. Who is the author of famous novel The Lighthouse? Okay, Virginia Woolf, that's just general knowledge. I will just skip them. Based, okay, I will just skip the general knowledge because they vary significantly, so I don't really care about it. Uh, in which of the following is the verb passive? Okay, that's, that's something i never seen before. It's just English kind of normal English exam. Okay, so I understand. So this is pretty straightforward. That's really weird, I have to say. Okay, now it's the logic, logic question. The following table shows the result of a test. Okay, to pass the test, a mark of higher than five is needed. What percentage of candidates pass the test? Okay, you just need, this is a very easy one. This is a very easy one. Shannon, no, no, no. Four percent will reserve the spices, silver plate gold, the number of silver plate pens, twice the number of gold plate. Are they probably, okay, this is just probability statistics like we predicted. It's like easy medium question. Two consecutive discounts, 10 and 20. Okay, also fairly straightforward question. Build a cube. Okay, this is, oh, it's a lot of probability and statistics. So really a lot of probability and statistics this year, which is really good because uh, if, if you are part of my course, you know that we really emphasize on probability and statistics. It's something that is really important in general, not only for math and physics se section. Biology, which process a course within the myth? Okay, that's a very easy question. What is the hydrogen bond? It is a bond between hydrogen atoms and another strongly. That's a really easy question. That's really easy questions. And all of them look so, so short without any illustrations or anything. That's really weird to see, I have to say. It's really easy. What kind of monosaccharide is in glucose, hexose? Which pentose sugar is present in RNA, ribose? What are the carrier proteins? That's really easy questions. Energy, currency, ATP. You can learn it in like day two of the study planner I offer on the website. Which kind of reactions in ATP hydrolysis? It releases energy. The process of intermolecular, intercellular, comp blah, blah, blah. <laughs> is the characteristics of which organism? Eukaryotic cell, it's just organelles. Which intercellular structure is composed of microtubules? Centrioles, mitochondria have the natural membrane of a very selective. Okay. Anticon, the sequence tRNA. What are ribosomes made of? RNA and proteins. The cell membrane consists. That's the easiest biology section I've ever seen in any past time, I have to say. In, in protein synthesis, what is translation? Uh, process mRNA read. That's really easy questions. 
What are the principal components of cytoskeleton? Okay. Alleles is one of several alternative forms of gene. Heterozygous can be dominant. The, the English is, is weird, but the questions are just really easy questions. What are mutations? Alterations in the genetic information of a cell. Translation leads to synthesis of polypeptides from RNA. You have a strand central dogma. This is the complementary. That's really weird to see such easy questions on the IMAT, I have to say. Replication in the process DNA. Okay, that's... That's... Uh, sorry, I'm a bit shocked <laughs> from, from how easy the biology section was this year. It seems like the talk even. No physiology, no Mendelian genetics, no illustrations, no graphs. That's really weird to see. Um, my students told me after they left because I was outside of the of the center in Pavia, they told me that the chemistry was a bit harder. So let's review the chemistry. Because sometimes people say it was harder, but in reality, after a few days, they realized it was easier than they thought. A uh, mixture of the mole, carbon dioxide, oxygen, except the pressure of 2.4, the walls. What is the pressure? Okay, gas laws. A gas, convert to Kelvin, <coughs> also gas laws. Which of the following compounds? Hydroxide, okay, easy because of this. Everything else is non-metal. Given the theoretical yield, stoichiometry. How many mils of water are added to 15 mils of solution of uh, sulfuric acid to obtain 0 0.05 of solution? Basic molarity. How many sodium ions moles can be found? 250 milliliters of 1.2 solution. Okay, just find the molarity, then multiply it by two. Um, in the reaction, ammonia is Lewis space because they have the lone pair, except the proton acceptor, because it's a lone pair donor. Zinc nitrate in water obtained from the reaction. We do, okay, that's basic redox. Compound contains most hydrogen atoms. That's just organic nomenclature to make the, the um, illustration. So far, chemistry is really easy as well, I have to say. Which of the following compound contains hydrogen atoms? Okay, compound oxygen is not present in which? Okay, you have an ether, so it's not a double bond. Straightforward, it's just a single. Various units, uh, this one, because it's too much, it's time 1000. And you see both of them are similar, so one of them has to be incorrect because it's not the same number. Given the relative atomic mass of 14, how many nitrogen atoms present in 0.7 of gaseous nitrogen? So N2, it's gaseous nitrogen, which you just need to find. Carbon and oxygen, okay, basic stoichiometry as well. How much more you want? Okay, from two to four, it's to the factor of 100 because every pH is to 10, so 99. According to the bonson lowry theory, a strong acid forms conjugate weak base. That's just basic definition. So chemistry and biology, both of them were very, 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 very easy to the point that I think maybe the minimum scores might actually be like, it's about 60 for non-Europeans. Maybe 55, 60 really. The exam is... The exam, honestly, probably the easiest exam that we had in, from all of this, uh, this entire time since 2011, since the time it started. I'm really surprised, I have to say. Uh, okay. Logarithm. Uh, statistics and probability. Inequalities. The same thing. It's always the same. Um... Geometry. So math and physics to me, it's, physics seems a bit easier. Math seems easier than last year. So math and physics seems still hard, but much easier than last year. That's for sure. Uh, okay, I won't make this video too long. I just wanted to show you me reviewing it for the first time. And I have to say this IMAT was the easiest IMAT I've ever seen. Very straightforward. Everything covered in my free material in the study planner. So every single thing. A few weeks into your preparation, you can already study. I didn't see physiology. I didn't see Mendelian genetics. I didn't see evolution. 
Um, I didn't even see very difficult chemistry stuff. I've, that's really... I'm surprised. You probably see it during this recording. I'm really surprised, I have to say. But hey, um, that's the amount of 2024. I will edit the video I made of the actual test day. If you want to see, if you're looking to prepare for AMA 2025 and you watch this video, seems to be honestly with good preparation, every single thing over here I covered in my course, every single thing in the first couple of weeks of it. So I'm very confident that, that students who follow my material uh, who asked me to make this video probably scored very, very high because of the very straightforward questions. But I have to say, I'm a bit weirded out about how easy it was, except math and physics. It seems to me a conclusion that if it will continue like this in the next year, we might have math and physics kind of the determine factor that will determine if you will actually pass or not because most of the people will get most of bio and chem correctly but math and physics would be something that some people will give up so you will get the score the score you will get the points from math and physics that's my assumptions after seeing this because math and physics is it seems to be fairly advanced you need to know a lot not too advanced but you need to calculate a lot of stuff but the the bio and chem is was the bio and chem is very straightforward, really straightforward stuff. Okay, I won't I won't talk too much. Um, it's kind of weird to me to to see it. I have to say because usually the IMAT exam is much more difficult, but I'm glad they were they made it very easy, very kind of uh, I would say fair exam to allow everyone a fair chance to really pass it and I really see I suspect this trend of easier question might continue in the future as well I still look at it you don't see me but I still look I still look at the pdf myself I suspect this trend will continue everything was covered in my course everything was covered in my study planner I will leave links to everything in the description if you want to really study specifically based on the past paper what I'm going to do right now is I'm I'm going to analyze the paper very specifically get all of the subjects from it and update all of the material based on what we saw this year so we saw emphasis on probability and statistics really a lot of emphasis on it really a lot on stoichiometric gas loss the really basic stuff that you usually have some definitions that they never really ask like acid base the very basic stuff uh, some organic chemistry but not, not something crazy there is no illustrations, no graphs, no nothing, just straightforward questions. No electrical circuits even, just basic questions of everything. So, uh, if you watch it in uh, 2025, I already updated everything at this point. If you watch it right now after the AMA to see my kind of uh, prediction, I have a feeling that the scores will increase. The scores will probably increase this year because the exam is very easy. Really easy. But we will know in a few weeks, maybe I'm just talking nonsense. You never know. It's only an assumption. It's just my prediction. But I have a, I have a feeling that the scores will increase for both years and non years this year. That's it. Uh, if you are my students for 2024, first of all, thank you so much. I wish you the best, 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 best of luck. I hope you remember the stuff I mentioned in the course because I see a lot of stuff repeat over here. If you use my free materials on the website, I hope I was able to really give you value and help you prepare. A lot of the stuff I mentioned in the, my free st um, study material on Intermed School also appeared a lot of times over here. So in general, all of the students, all of the people who use my website, I really hope I was able to really provide value to you. And if you want to take AMA 2025 and you are interested in a course or someone to guide you, make sure to check the links in the description. Maybe you will find some of my free or paid products that you will be interested in. Because I have really a lot for, for both people who don't want to spend money and want to fully prepare. I have a lot of free material, but I also have more personal approach, live classes that I do between my own medical school years, which I hope to finish very soon because I started in 2019. Uh, I hope to finish very soon and during the summers I teach and I do personal coaching and everything. So maybe it's something that you will be also interested in. So make sure to check the link for every, every possible uh, kind of product that I have to offer both free and paid. Bye-bye. See you next time.